harder or easier? So here we have ourselves a modified rectangular prism. So we're going to use the surface area formula for every prism, which says we take two area of the bases and we add to it the perimeter of the base times the height of your prism. <clears throat> so we need to calculate two things, the area of your base and the perimeter of your base. <clears throat> So base area is going to be a subtraction problem because we are missing part of it. So we have a rectangle as the base, which is 20 times 12. Okay, this is the side that goes with this. 20 times 12 is our big rectangle minus our little rectangle, which is a 12 by 4. <clears throat> giving us an area of 240 minus 48, which is 192 square inches as the area of your base. <clears throat> now, perimeter, on the other hand, if we were to drive around here, we would have to go all the way around this rectangle. <clears throat> so 20 plus 12 plus 20 plus 12 is 64, plus we also have this inner perimeter because we have more of an edge. Any edge that you can touch is part of your perimeter. So we have 12 and 4 and 12 and 4, which is 32 extra inner perimeter units that we have to add. So we have a total perimeter of 96 inches. We are adding perimeters of the two shapes on the base, and we are subtracting areas of the two shapes on the base. So now that we know that much, we can plug it back into our formula. Two area of the bases plus a perimeter times the height. And this is the height, the distance in between your bases. <clears throat> So we had a 192 base area, and we had a 96 base perimeter. And when I multiply and add all these things together, I get a total surface area of 960, 960 square inches. <clears throat> so whenever we have a modified shape, we subtract to find the area of the base, and we add to find the perimeter of the base.